Claude Code, one of the best coding tools released by Anthropic, and this runs in your terminal. I was able to create this full-fledged application with sign up, sign in, adding various tasks, and able to delete the task when required. All this done within one prompt. Using this, you are able to understand unfamiliar code, ask questions in natural language, automate Git operation. So you don't need to remember any Git commands. You can commit, create PR, and review your previous commits. It can edit code intelligently, test and debug your code. It can think through the process before performing the task. And I'm going to teach you step-by-step step how you can install this and use this on your day-to-day -day work so that it can increase your productivity as a developer or as a beginner developer. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you should be able to follow through. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Cloud Code was released together with Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, one of the powerful model right now for coding. You can utilize that to speed up your coding process. And this is number one, beating OpenAI 01, 01 Mini, and DeepSeq R1. So here is the system requirements, minimum of four GB RAM, and you need Node.js, Git, GitHub, and RG installed. GitHub and RG optional. I will provide the link in the description below so you are able to follow through. So here are the four different steps to install this. First, you need to npm install Anthropic. So as you saw before, npm is part of Node.js. You can go to nodejs.org to download Node.js. I think that is the only main required package to install this. So that is the only main required. All other things are optional. So that's used to install this Claude code. So just copy this command. So go to a terminal. There I'm pasting this command and clicking enter. Now this is installed. Now navigate in the folder. So here's my folder. I created this folder, Claude code, but it could be your own folder. Currently it's an empty folder, but even if you got code in this folder, you can ask it to refactor, fix errors, rewrite the code, analyze, and do much more. But for now, I'm starting from scratch. So that is the step number two, navigate to the folder of your choice. Then start Claude by typing Claude. So I'm going to type Claude and click enter. And now it asks, do you trust the files in this folder? I'm going to say S yes, proceed. Welcome to Claude code research preview. I've already logged in, so it didn't ask me to log in, but if that is the first time, it will ask you to log in, where it automatically redirects to Anthropic website and use your username and password to log in. So once after you do that, you'll get a page like this. So now I'm going to say, create a Flask application with front end and back end. I should be able to create users and login. All data saved in database. It's a to-do list app. So that is the only command I'm going to give and click enter. Now it's started processing. It's automatically creating me the folder and it's asking me permission. Just enter. Now it's ideating creating the requirements.txt file. I'm going to say yes and don't ask again this session. So this will automatically give it approval to create all the required files. So that's like an end-to-end -end application being prepared. So here you can see all the code changes and you can even approve it manually if required. And just because this is the first step towards creating an application, I'm just approving all. Otherwise, I will normally review page by page. Now it created me all the required files with documentation and it's giving me step to run the application. Navigate to the folder, create virtual environment, install the requirements.txt file and run this to start the application. All data stored in SQLite database. So let's see the folder structure. So here you can see all the files and folders automatically created with just one prompt. That is the magic. So now instead of us running, let me try asking it to run. Please run this application. Now it's automatically navigating the folder and creating the virtual environment. And here's the bash command. Yes, proceed. And it found an error that Python is not in the path. So it's going to try with Python 3. Let me proceed that again. And it worked. So it's automatically able to detect errors and fix errors and run commands on our behalf. That is brilliant. Now again, it's asking me permission, clicking enter. And all the requirements.txt file got installed. And now it's asking me to run the application, clicking enter. So literally, it's vibe coding. I don't need to code anything at all. Just clicking enter, enter for approval. That's it. 
And now here is the application. Now we are going to register, clicking register, creating a user with username, email address and password, clicking register. Now it's all done, logging me with my username and password. So I can see that there's a timeout for running a command. So that is understandable. So going to open a new terminal, navigating to the to-do app, activating the virtual environment and Python app.py. So app.py and clicking enter. Now it opened in this URL. So opening this, now let's log in. And now I'm logged in. Now I can create a task. So here is the interface. This is really neat. I'm going to say Prison AI multi-agent framework improvement, giving a deadline and create task. So the task is now created. I'm going to create another task just for testing purpose. And now we got all the task added. I can even mark it as completed or I can even delete it or edit it. That is brilliant. So all the navigation is at the top. So with just one prompt, literally I gave this one description in natural language and it created all the required files, all the code and is ready for me to run. That much powerful it is. And you got all the login and logout mechanism built in and all your data gets stored in the database. All this thing got created in just five minutes. Now, if I type backslash, you see all the required commands. So to check the cost, I can click cost and you can see it took $0.3 to develop this application. And the total API duration, that is two minutes. That is the actual time it took to talk to the API to generate all the code. For bash mode, I'm typing exclamation, then going to say ls. So ls just to test if bash command is working. And I'm going to press control C twice to exit. And you can see all the status. So this is the overall time we were running the cloud. This is the actual usage. So within just two minutes, 33 seconds, we create this application. So a few things to try. We can ask Cloud directly like this, what this app does. And it's going to analyze the code. It's going through every single file. And you can see this is the answer directly displayed. So if I don't want to directly go into the Cloud mode, I can just add hyphen P. That will stop going inside the REPL mode. So here are the commands, Cloud for REPL mode, just query to start the REPL hyphen p it's one off query and you can config update and final thing which i want to show you is adding mcp that is really powerful mcp is nothing but integrating this with your own application or own tools that will speed up your process you can integrate this with your database or any other third party and adding mcp server is simple as this cloud mcp add and you're adding your server with api key and path to the server with arguments and this is how you manage your MCP servers, Cloud MCP list, and you can even remove MCP if required. You can connect to Postgres database and it can automatically analyze the data. You can describe the schema. In natural language, you can ask. That is natural language to SQL. Most recent orders in the system show me the relationship between customers and invoices. You can drag and drop image in your Cloud code and just ask analyze this image and it should be able to analyze your image. Even for the current setup, I can just go to Claude and just say refactor, let's say app.py. So here's the app.py file. So I'm going to say refactor app.py file and it's going to refactor that file for me. And it's refactored now. It's automatically creating a roots folder and putting all the required files there. So that is brilliant. You can see on the routes folder, you got all these extra files to simplify this app.py file. So now the app.py file is simplified with the routes being passed to this folder and it's all done. I can just say find if any errors in app.py file to find any errors, it should be able to do it. And it's just analyzing the code and updating the code accordingly. Now it's all done. I can just say create a PR pull request. Let's see what's going to happen. It identify it's not a Git repo. So it's going to initialize the Git repo so you can see the detailed plan. I'm impressed with this. So it's automatically creating the initial plan and then it's going through step by step. So I'm going to approve everything and it's creating the master branch and everything's approved. It's creating sub branch and then merging that to the main branch. So you can see all the changes happening, writing those. So all the Git commands, I don't need to write. It's doing on behalf of me. I'm going to use this regularly. I hope the pricing is going to come down soon. So now it's all done. I can even ask it to create tests for this application and it should be able to create tests for me. 
and run it on my behalf. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this and I'm really impressed. Considering you already like Claude code, I also created another video. It's about Lovable, another AI code editor which can automate your work and create a full-fledged application just in one prompt. And I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.